Hi everybody, welcome to this week's edition of Fridays with Steve Rolls. Now, this week, as always, I've got an absolute cracker of a property. I always say they're crackers. Um, but wait until you see this one. I think you, you might be pleasantly surprised. It is a big old townhouse. Now, there are lots of townhouses and village houses around here. Most of them are a bit crusty, um, bits dropping off here and there, and, and really kind of rustic-y in there, they kind of feel. This is not that. This is a very grand affair. It's in a town called Cantoria, or some people may pronounce it Cantoria, because the inflection is always on the last vowel, remember? Anyway, all that nonsense. So this house is big and grand and gorgeous. I've seen it on the market for a while now. The price has been the same. It hasn't gone up, it hasn't gone down, it hasn't gone sideways. I decided to go and have a look at it. And uh, we'll see that in a minute. It is one use and one use only in my book, which is probably grossly unfair because you could have a most wonderful time in that house. It is beautiful. You could spend the rest of your time restoring it and paying for it probably as well. Um, you could have an awful lot of fun there. But I think there is one use for that house and one specific use. That is for accommodation. You either do it up as a party house and you rent it in its entirety to, I don't know, six, eight, ten people who want to come across for family reunions, get togethers, birthday parties. This is big business at the moment. There's a lot of people get together as a group, go off somewhere, either the UK, Spain, France, Italy, and uh, have a party for three, four, five days, and then they come home. And the demand for that seems to be growing, I think. So I think that's one of the uses for this house, possibly. Another use is just a straight B and B. Now, again, research needs to be done there to see if there is a need for that. Um, I believe there is. I think there is a, a bit of a lack of accommodation in that area. Um, but again, research, research, research. I'm going to show the pictures of the house now. This is as it is at the moment. Okay, it's a pretty special house. I think you'll probably get the idea of that from the pictures. Now, the property belonged to quite an eminent doctor. Um, the name of the doctor is actually the name of the street outside. Uh, so it shows you, or gives you an idea that um, he, was, he was kind of special. Now, the house has been empty for, I'm estimating, possibly between something like seven and five years. Now the family who don't live in the area anymore are selling the property and um, they just want to release it and, and, and take the cash because they're not local. I believe they're in Madrid or Barcelona, uh, one of the cities. So that's why the house is going. Now I think, you know, I might be wrong, but having looked at that house, I think it has got limited appeal. It's a big old house. If you just want that as a townhouse to live in, yeah, that'd be nice, but I don't think that's the true potential of that house. I think that house wants to be shared, and I think it either wants to be shared as party house or B&B. It could be glorious, and if you make it in that hackneyed old word, boutique-y, 
Uh, for me, boutique just means really stylish, nicely done, comfortable. If you did it like that, I think you'd build a market, not straight away, but over a period of time. Okay, now all this depends on how much it is. Before I go in to tell you how much it is, let me just show you exactly where Cantoria is in the big wide map of Spain. And as you can see from the map, it's about 40 minutes from Vera, which would be probably your nearest seaside town. Um, it's about 10 minutes from Albox, Arbaleas, La Alfaquia. Um, I say those names because a lot of people will know where they are. So it's very close to them. It's a beautiful town. And uh, by the magic of uh, Google Maps, I think if we just try and, and go in here, we should come straight into it, hopefully, and we can see where it is. Cantoria is here. Now the house that we're looking at is here. It's there. That one there. Uh, a great house. It really is. So it's, it's, it's in the lower regions of Spain, down in um, the Armoria region of Andalusia. Beautiful area, beautiful. The town is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so how much do you think that's worth? Well, when I say to you the price of that house, it's on the market for 99,000 euros. Uh, I don't know the exchange rate at the moment, but we're talking probably about £90,000, £89,000, something like that. You're probably going to go, like, crikey man, that's amazing. You can buy, buy a garage in London for that. And I would agree, but hold your horses. That house needs work doing to it. If you want to turn it into a, a commercial enterprise, you're going to need to spend some money on it. Now, you have to work out, as I always say, and I know people get bored of listening to this, but you have to work out what you're paying for it, what your taxes are and your costs are, then what you're going to spend on it, then not only what your return is going to be in the short term, but if you decide to sell that house, and as you know, my motto is 99% people will sell their properties at some point. Even though they say this is, this, is, this is the rest of my life, I will stay here. They will sell them at some point. So, you have to work out how much you think it's worth, how much you would pay for it, how much it needs to bring it up to a standard that either earns you a living or gives you a nice house to live in. Then when you've done all that, could you still sell it? Not necessarily for a profit, but could you still sell it and get your money back? That's how my, my mind works on these things. So having said that, although 99,000 sounds an amazing, amazing bargain, I would hazard and say, I think it's too much. Personally, I think it's too much. You need to bring that price down a little bit. I'd like to see that house brought in, all singing, all dancing, after you put all your sweat, tears, blood, and hard cash into that house. I would want to see the whole thing done for about 100, 110,000. Then you've got a bit of margin when you come to sell it. My thoughts, and that's all they are. Um, but I think it's a cracking house. I think it's got tremendous potential. Um, and it's on the market for 99,000. As I say, I think we should be looking a little bit lower than that. Okay, that's it for this week. I hope you found that interesting. Um, I know people have emailed me and sent me messages. If I haven't got back to you yet, I promise I will. Uh, just doing filming and, and these links and things does take a little bit of my time. Well, quite a lot actually, but um, so just bear with me. I will come back and answer all the queries and questions that people have put to me. Um, and don't stop sending them. It's, I'm really grateful. It's nice to have them. So. Having said that, thank you so much. If you haven't already, please share, new one, not the singer, um, or subscribe here, or send us an email, or go onto the website and um, join the newsletter, and um, you'll get all the little things as uh, we do them. That's it. Thank you so much. Have a fabulous weekend, and uh, I look forward to seeing you again next week. Take care.